sailor Do we do with a drunken sailor A lie in the morning Way and up she rises Way and up she rises Way and up she rises A lie in the morning Shave his belly with a rusty razor Shave his belly with a rusty razor Shave his belly with a rusty razor A lie in the morning Hey ho and up she rises Hey hey and up she rises Hey ho and up she rises A lie in the morning Put him in a long boat till he's sober Put him in a long boat till he's sober Put him in a long boat till he's sober A lie in the morning Hey Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome to another video. Thanks ever so much for joining me. So I've done this little song so you've got something to sing to the children or your grandchildren during this time when we've all got to be indoors and everything. And it's a really simple one for you to kind of play. And maybe you could kind of teach the children how to play it as well. So let me kind of dive straight in and explain to you what's happening. There are just two chords in the song. We've got an E minor, which is just the second fret, fourth and fifth strings. The chords are up above, okay? That's your E minor chord. And the only other chord is a D chord. Okay, so that's just the first and the third strings of this on the second fret. And then the second string of the third fret. And then when you're kind of playing the D best just trying to hit the bottom four strings you can get away with the bottom five okay that will work but just avoid the top string when you're playing the D now the strumming pattern is very simple I'm just playing like a little bit in the bass Okay, so that's as you can see is very very simple and so you've got a better idea as to where the chord changes come let me kind of talk you through that so basically if you just count four on the E one two three four to D two three four back to E two three four two on D and two on E Okay, so it's only the end little bit that's a little bit different. Let's do it one more time, all right? So we've got what do you do with a drunken sailor to a D? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Back to the E. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? D. It's as simple as that guys yeah so start off slowly because it's far better to kind of go slowly and be in time all right so you kind of and that way all your kind of chord changes will be nice and fluid rather than going and a big pause before you get to the D you don't really want that happening it's far far better that you just slow it down and get it rolling and you get a nice kind of feel to the song so I hope that that helps you guys it's just a little something to maybe help with the little ones around the place and you know kind of do something along those lines so thank you very much indeed for watching if you have any comments don't hesitate to drop those down below and thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you very shortly with another video all the best